Who's there? Uh, Puck. Goliath, what is it? It's Puck. He seems hurt. Hurt? That imp. Hudson. What? You know as well as I how powerful he is. The odds of him being hurt... Help me. Are seemingly more likely. Hurry, make a bed. We must get him well rested before he can explain anything to us. As you wish. <clears throat> Puck. Uh, uh. Julius. Everyone. Need your help. Anything. Well, let's not be too hasty. This could still be one of his games. This is no game, Hudson. My powers are gone. What? But what being could possibly... Demona. Excuse me. I speak the truth, Goliath. Demona found a way to sap me and my power, and now she is loose with it. We have to stop her from doing whatever she plans on doing, or else it could prove disastrous. Believe me, I know how powerful you are. But in the hand of Demona, she could get rid of Everyone. Goliath? Uh, Lysa. What's going on? <sighs> Demona. She found a way to steal Puck's powers. Everyone. We are going to have to find her and stop her before she does anything damaging. We can't risk her using Puck's powers for any nefarious reasons. As for you, Puck, you are going to have to come with us. But what could I do? I'm useless! <sighs> no one is useless. I am! You're more than just your powers. Puck. Really? Yeah, you're annoying his balls. Uh, Hudson. What? Am I wrong? Goliath. Uh, oh, come on. It, well, I, I will admit that your pranks can be... You know what, let's just not worry about that right now. Right now we have to st stop Demona. I'll come too. No. You know how she is around humans. Yeah, especially the one that stole her mate from her. But... Right. Dad? <laughs> Angela? I thought you would be with... Yeah, I'm here too. Broadway. Uh, what's going on? Your mother. What has she done? Them looking at Puck is... She didn't. Yeah. Well, we are going to have to stop her by any means necessary. Uh, she's your mother. Yeah, who has done a lot of bad in... Possibly playing more bad. We can't risk her doing anything very problematic. She already hates humans. She could get rid of all of them super easy with that imp's power. Yes. I'm aware of that. So, let's suit up. As soon as they find Mona, she is oddly calm. 
Oh, it's nice to see you again, Goliath. Where's your human pet? Pet. Uh, Eliza is no pet. She is my I know. <sighs> but not for much longer. Not after what I have planned here. What do you plan on doing, Zimona? I'm gonna fix things. I'm gonna make things all better with that trickster's power. Trust me, it is for the best of what I have planned. For the best. Yes. After I'm finished, we can be together forever. No need to worry about gargoyles or humans getting in the way. But what do you have planned? I'm giving this world a restart. I'm rewiring it in a way. Fixing what was broken. You know. For the better. But that would... That would mean you would have to destroy this reality itself just to make my new one, yes. But don't worry. We'll still be here. Just you and me. That's all that matters, right? D Demona. This, this isn't the way. I knew you would say that. But don't worry. Pretty soon, you... And everyone. <laughs> you want to remember this. We'll have our, our child. We can make more of them. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hello, Angela. <clears throat> Mother. Why? Why what? Why are you doing this? To fix what was broken. To get back what was taken from me. <laughs> it, what, Dad? Precisely. Ever since we've arrived in this cursed time. Everything's been going wrong. First I had him. Then he was stripped away just for me to get him back and lose him again this time to the very species that damned us but mom you know this the odds of this working if you rewrite everything do you know what that means none of us will remember anyone <laughs> That's what you think. You are all forget. But me. I don't want to hold this power, so there's no way I'm gonna wipe my own memories. And I will find you, Goliath. And we could be together again. Like nothing ever happened. This is madness. No. This is what uh, humans would call love. Yeah, she's totally turning into a yundere. Uh. What's a yundere? Well, it's what you call a crazy. <laughs> crazy. You think I'm crazy? For what? Wanting to be with someone I love. For trying my damn best to get over it. Only to be your minded day in and day out. No. I'm not crazy. I'm determined. I'm determined to get you back. I don't care what you say. You won't even... You could say... Remember this conversation. 
And before they can even try to stop her, she freezes them in place. Them realizing, oh shit, she's already absorbed the power. Just sit back, enjoy the show. I can promise you, you won't see anything else like this ever again. Her getting ready to do this whole, whole spell and rewrite everything thing as Pug just jumps out of nowhere and tackles her ass. Her right in the middle of the spell, no less. So, mm, you can only imagine how fucked up that could go. In which, the spell is still cast. Only thing is, yeah. Demona and Puck are nowhere to be seen. As soon as everyone else is released, they slowly feel their very beings being torn apart, rebuilt, and reshaped into something else. Everyone's scared, especially Angela and Goliath. He just walks up to her and hugs them. He hugs Huxin, Bronx, Broadway. Oh my god, that's right. That I for, it's been so long since I've seen that show. They did name themselves. <clears throat> Either way. As, yeah, Goliath just kisses his daughter goodbye. But not before Eliza shows up. Feeling the effects. And realizing, yeah, it's too late. <sighs> Morning, Izuka. Oh, hey, Mom. <clears throat> so, are we going to the court doctor today? Uh, Yes, but I don't see why it even matters, all things considered. You already know what your quirk is. True. It's, it's kind of like I'm a weird dragon hybrid thing. Which is kind of weird considering you and dad. Well, your father has a fire and quirk. Maybe it evolved in some sort of way. <sighs> I guess. Have you been able to reach him lately? Sadly, no. It's weird. Huh. But I'm sure he's fine. As soon as he heads to the court doctor, he's like, Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. If I can tell. Yeah. You're strong, fast. You're... She would have the ability to fly, but right now you seem to only be able to glide somewhat. I'm sure you'll get the hang of flying as soon as you get more practice in. Not to mention you are very durable compared to regular people. Hmm. Which would, you know, kind of be very helpful when you think about it when it comes to being a hero. The only thing that really does perplex me is, um, huh? What would happen if you actually took damage? I mean, we tried drawing blood. You literally bent the needle. So, hmm. we're going to have to really test out your abilities later on. But if you ever do actually get hurt to the point where you actually receive damage. It would be, you know, helpful if you gave us some input. I mean, we could try to find something here that will hurt me. Izuku, what? It's best to know my limits now before, you know, I try to be a hero and... <sighs> Izuku, you can't just... Well... Ma'am, it is your choice whether you want to go through this. He's not of age to really. 
make his own decisions as of yet. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Um... Okay... I'm... As a mother, I don't want you to go through with this. But as a supporting mother... Uh, I had to support your decisions. As they try... A lot... To actually hurt Izuku. You try cutting, stabbing, as well as tasing, setting him on fire, freezing him. Ugh. They even hit him with a freight truck just to see. Yeah, nothing. They even get a big ass drill that just breaks upon contact with his skin. Ego, she is fainting each attempt. Izuku, he's somewhat happy he's not getting hurt, but he's also kind of disappointed since, wow, is there nothing that could actually hurt me? Mighty strong quirk you got there. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that, that, that'll be into that. What? Yeah, but there's nothing else for us to test, technically. You, Faith, you're going to be a great hero one day. Oh, you're even more durable than All Might. What? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Might need to make a few calls. As soon as they head home, Izuku, he's all kinds of happy. He's like, yeah, I can be a hero. I can be a great hero. There's nothing stopping me. Uh, but then they get home. And he knows. <laughs> Something doesn't, doesn't seem right. Huh? Something smells off. Wait, you have super senses now? It's like, it smells like gas as... Explosion occurs. I love explosions. I love blowing shit up. I don't know why, but blowing shit up is so much fun. It might have something to do with me being power maniac, but still. Iz Izuku, all he could do is on instinct shield Inko with his wings. Her only getting minor burns. Is are you all right? Uh huh. Are you? If she sees his wings are actually torn, a portion of the. It's like, okay, so looks like we found a weakness of yours. Uh, no, 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 no! Oh no! My wing! But why? How? Well, think of it like this. Um, yeah, your skin is strong, but for your wings, it had to be more flexible, light. So, maybe? Oh, are you serious? What? So, maybe I'm, I might not ever be able to... As he just notices, he's like, wait, what's going on? He sees his wings... Start to be encased in stone. Him, wait, 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 wait. No, no. Grayscale. What? Uh, nothing. As then, soon after, they break free. Wait. They're okay. My wings. They're alright. Are you serious? Yeah. Look. Him having a full wingspan, he's like, Are you serious? Yeah, isn't it cool? So you... Wow. Uh, I guess we know what has we take damage now. Yeah, so, uh, what do we do now? Uh, let's just 
go to the court doctor before anything else weird happens.